Using a stage line chart can be a great way to present data and control the flow of information to your audience. In Excel, if we select the whole line and change the color, the entire line will change to that color we picked. If we want to highlight just selected parts of a line, we need to go through and highlight those pieces step by step. Here's how you do that. Select the data point farthest along the line where you'd like to highlight. Double click that point. In the Format Data Point menu, navigate to the Line option and then choose the color that you'd like to use to highlight. As you can see, a small portion of the line is highlighted. In fact, it's from the point you selected to the next data point in the series to the left. To highlight a larger set of data, complete this process until you've highlighted the entire part of the line that you'd like to emphasize. This may seem a little tedious, but the overall result is well worth it. To create a stage line chart that I present, like the cell phone story, I take my version of the line chart that is all gray and paste it into PowerPoint. From there, I size it as big as I'd like it to be, and then I duplicate the slide. In the slide that I duplicated, I start making changes of what I want to highlight and annotate. Then, when I'm ready for the next slide, I duplicate that first slide where everything is all gray and highlight the new information that I need. This way, I don't need to undo the work I just did to make small highlights. Remember, this is a presentation method that works well when you have time to present and don't need to send your slides in advance. If you don't have the luxury of time or presentation, your other option is to create the staged line chart using enclosures. To do this, fix the chart up however you'd like to present it in a PowerPoint slide. Next, we'll add the enclosures. To do that, click Insert and select a rectangle. You'll notice the shape we just created covers our chart, which isn't helpful. What we need to do is add transparency to the rectangle so that we're able to see through to the chart underneath. To do that, right-click on the rectangle you added and click Format Shape. From there, add transparency to your rectangle. There's no magic number for the right amount of transparency, so play around with the color you chose and make a choice in transparency that still allows you to see the chart underneath and make sure your enclosure isn't distracting. Repeat this process to add additional enclosures to call out different parts of your line chart. To add annotations, insert a text box and write your annotation and size as appropriate. Go ahead and practice creating these different types of stage line charts using our smartphone data.